Hello, my name is Steve Taylor and I want to introduce you to something really cool that Peplink engineers have introduced with firmware 710. This feature is called virtual network mapping. And let me show you what this works. Now, I'm going to create a VPN between uh, three devices. So we've got our HQ device, a balance 310, site A is a HD2 and site B is a HD4. Let's just go and have a quick look at those. So here's our balance 310 with its default IP address 192.168.1.1 our HD2 192.168.51 and our HD4 as you can see it's got the same IP address as our HD2 now let's go and create this VPN tunnel and so we're going to do this through in control first thing we're going to do is make sure that we have enabled uh, our speed fusion configuration through in control and then we're going to add a new profile For this profile we're going to use a starred profile okay I'm going to use my balance 310 as the hub and then I'm going to use both my HD2 and my HD4 for my remote sites Okay, let's go ahead and just give this a name. Let's call it test. And we'll ignore the rest of these settings. We'll just carry on and complete this. So we'll just save this and finish. Once we've done that, we click on save changes. And they've now been applied successfully to our in control. Let's pop back and have a look and see what this has done to our devices. So if we look over to our balance 310 we can see here that the tunnels are starting now at this point I'm not expecting the tunnels to actually complete certainly not both of them and this is because we have a conflict between our HD2 and our HD4 so let's just wait a moment for um, our balance 310 to work out what it's going to do with that conflict okay so now we can see it's actually created a, a tunnel to the HD4 but it's unable to create that tunnel to the HD2 as we expected so let's go and have a look at our HD2 and see what we can do to sort this out so we'll pop back to our HD2 and you can see there it's still trying to update the routes we're going to pop into the network tab and we're going to scroll down here to this little question mark above uh, static route settings. And as you can see, we have a click here to configure a virtual network mapping. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll choose our local network. And we're going to give this a completely separate network address outside of the normal range for this particular device. And we're going to save that. And we'll apply the changes. let's wait for that to refresh and we'll pop back and have a look at our balance 310 now our balance 310 has noticed the change and it's now going to try and update the routes again and create a link now to the HD2 a moment for this to finish and there we go we now have an, a tunnel established to our HD2 but what you'll notice is that the HD2 still has the original IP address 192.168.50.1 now that's important if we go and have a quick look now at uh, our client list on this HD2 we will see that we have a, a CCTV camera now this camera has got a static IP address now imagine we've got 10 12 15 cameras all with different static IP addresses we don't want to change each one of those when we can do it 
simply by updating and creating a virtual network map. Now you can see this has got an IP address 192.168.50.10. I'm going to jump back now to our balance 310 and I'm going to show you how we can ping that device. So we'll jump into our ping tool. We're going to make sure that we are actually using the PEP VPN to generate the ping. Okay, now that is the virtual IP address of that CCTV camera. And as we can see, we're now getting replies from that particular IP address. Now I can change that to just be one, and this will give me a reply directly from the HD2. And because there is no longer any conflicts, I can ping the HD4. And there we go, we have responses from the HD4. So that's it, we now have two remote sites set up, connected to a HQ, and we've sorted out our conflicting subnets using the new feature, virtual network mapping. Thank you for watching.